We finished the season where we started it, right here at the RMU Island Sports Center for your final men's hockey update of the 2014-15 season. I'm Matt Geico from RMU Sports Information and joined, as I always am, by Colonials head coach Derek Schooley. And coach, you've done quite a few media interviews this week on local radio especially, and it seems like each and every time the host brings up the loss to Mercyhurst that ended your season in sudden death last Friday up in Rochester, and you keep saying it, it was sudden and it was tough to, to get a grasp on it. Now we're about a week beyond that. Has your perspective changed at all on that situation or will it still take some time? I think it'll still take some time. I mean, I think we're, you know, the players now are, are I think it's more reality now, especially with uh, the next weekend of hockey games coming up and we're not practicing and we're not preparing. So it, it still is a, a little bit of uh, uh, stinging but uh, it'll take some time for us to get over this because I think uh, uh, we all know that uh, it was an opportunity that we had and, and uh, for whatever reason it didn't go our direction and that, as I said numerous times that's hockey and unfortunately uh, uh, we're on the losing end of it and uh, where the previous year we're on the winning end of it and uh, this team accomplished so much this team had so many good things that they they did this year and uh, I think they just they wanted to feel the excitement of going back to the tournament and seeing what we can accomplish and uh, unfortunately we weren't able to do that. When you look at the accomplishments this year the list is long I can just read it off most wins in program history 24 fewest losses with eight longest winning streak at seven best start in program history at 7 0 and 2 also the most goals per game by a Colonials team in 11 years of Division One hockey just a shade under 3.6 you led the nation in block shots per game I'm pretty sure that's safe even though there's still hockey going on and you had your most points and wins in league play and collected that first regular season conference title. When you hear all that, and I'm sure there's more there that I forgot, there, there was so much good that happened this season. Can you pick out one thing that you're most proud of or is that difficult to do? Well, it's difficult to do because it all, you know, combined to, to have our best regular season ever. And uh, our best regular season ever was something that we're very proud of. We're very proud of leading wire to wire. wire. We're very proud of of winning our first regular season championship. I think it all blends together and I think you know you look at the blocks, you look at the scoring, you look at all the team statistics leads to 24 wins and only eight losses and that's a really really good record and uh, uh, unfortunately we're not going to be able to, to add to that. I should also mention most weeks ranked in the USCHO top 20 blowing that out of the water including eight in a row to finish up the season but coach looking into the future in fact, let's look to the past, a recent past first, uh, to put this in perspective. But two years ago, your team was coming off a 20-win season at that time. It was the best season in program history, but then struggled that following fall to keep that momentum up. Of course, you did rally and, and put together a huge second half in 2013-14. But what do you think is most important for your players and your coaching staff as well to uh, try to keep that ball rolling and be able to, to hit the ground running once the season starts again in six months? Well, I think we just have to make sure that we're prepared. Uh, it's going to be hard. It's going to be hard to, to do what we continue to do, and this team has the capability of doing it. We have to realize how hard it's going to be. Uh, you don't want to take a step back, and, and this is still going to be a, a, a very good hockey team, and uh, we've got uh, all three of our goalies returning, all eight of our defense returning. We return uh, uh, nine of our, or I guess, ten of our 12 forwards. No, nine of our 12 forwards have played in the in the, the regular season uh, or in the uh, playoff game. So there's a, there's a lot of good things and our guys just have to realize that if we take things for granted, it's gonna come back and bite you, very similar to what happened to us in uh, 2013 in the fall. Big picture question for you before we wrap it up for the season. I've been out and about and whenever people ask me what I do, I mentioned that I work with the RMU hockey team and, and there is that, that flash of recognition in people's eyes now, I think, and people know that the program has done quite well over the past couple of seasons. I'm sure you've experienced uh, a similar thing. Is it all about winning, you think, to uh, create more of, uh, of a footprint in the Pittsburgh area and in the college hockey landscape? Or is it also about just being around here for a decade and putting the program out here on this ice behind us year after year? Well, I think it's a little bit of both. I think it's uh, people know more and more about this program the longer we're here. But winning never, hurt, never hurts. And when you continue to win and win on a, a consistent basis, uh, people take notice. I think we're in the, the top 15 nationally in the last uh, five years of wins and winning percentage. 
uh, we're in the top of our conference in, in wins and winning percentage. So uh, nationally we're getting recognized, but locally we're getting recognized and um, it translates into good crowds here at the Island Sports Center and it translates into uh, a lot more national media and national notoriety and um, everybody believes in, in what we're doing and we just need to keep it going. Anything you'd like to say before we say goodbye to the fans who've been behind this team, some from day one, some just picking up more recently, but uh, they've all been a huge part of the success of this program. Well, thank you for, for the support that we've got this year, and our, our attendance was great. Uh, we had great crowds, great support, and we really appreciate uh, the, the fans and the, the people at the university getting behind our program. It's hard. It's hard to consistently win, and uh, you look at other programs that have had wins, and then they have a dip. And we haven't had a dip, and that's one of our biggest goals is to continue uh, not uh, rebuilding but reloading. And we're going to lose uh, four valuable members of this hockey team, but uh, we think we're able to reload. And um, hopefully they'll be here to support us again come October and be ready for another uh, uh, run at the, the NCAA tournament. You're right. It is six months away, but it'll seem like... It'll pass in a flash here this summer. Coach, thanks for all your time Thank you. and your candor this season. Thank you. It's been great dealing with you and the rest of your players and staff. Uh, they're terrific, and you're terrific as well. As Coach just said, I echo those sentiments. Thank you for your support of Colonials Hockey, another step forward for this program. And we'll start the 12th season coming up here in October. In the meantime, you can check out all your Colonials hockey news and Colonials athletics news in general at rmucolonials.com.